Illustrator CS5 and colorization of brushes. Right, got Illustrator CS5 open. Now, similar sort of approach could be used in CS4 and other versions. So I'm just going to go to the brush library. I've opened a brush library earlier. It's a graphic extras brush library, pack 21. All the brushes are without colorization sets. So they, when you paint with them, they'll actually be painted as black as the color. I mean, I could have created them with other colors, but I didn't. So they're actually just black. So I'm just going to select a brush. So select a brush. As soon as you select the brush, it's actually added to the brushes palette for the document. Now, I'm going to get rid of the library. So you can't actually change anything here. So you, you, there's no modification. If you go back to the original source document, you can change it there uh, and keep that as a permanent change if you wish. But uh, I'm not doing that at this point. So I'm just going to do click that, close that. And now you can double click on the art brush and you will see the various settings, widths and all those sort of things. And I'm just going to think that's the key thing here for colorization. And there's, uh, there's various methods and but I'm going to pick the only one I'm going to pick in this one is actually tints so I'm just going to select that now I'll just show you quickly doing it before that displaying it as as is so yeah so it's actually displayed as black I'm just going to get rid of those now apply the same one I'm going to change the method to tints and I'm going to now apply it and it displays as green and the reason it displays as green is over there is the stroke actually the setting there so if I applied it I think it's current stroke color actually applies it there of course you can increase the size paint it like that right so now it's done that you can actually another way of actually doing the colorization I'm just going to select a different brush so I'm just going to go and open that again select that one so I'm just gonna add that now go in there see method none now if you want to just colorize and this is not such a great method because it actually is in a sense destructive so uh, you lose the ability to actually have it as a brush anymore so just gonna apply the brush so there's the brush select brush and expand appearance now once you've expanded appearance you've actually got the fill it's actually so that's now editable so you can just go in there and apply color I mean in some ways it's quite useful as well because at this point now you can do a variety of other things with it you can also of course add as a background drop shadow for the brush and those sort of things that's certainly the uh, two easiest ways of changing the color of a brush in Illustrator